Is this working? Maybe. Yep. Okay, welcome to this month's uh, Prometheus team functional update. Um, I'm Ben, I'm the team lead. Uh, Joshua Lambert is on the, uh, our team as the product manager. We have Powell, uh, Kevin, and Julius as engineers, except Powell is new, full-time working on Prometheus now. So we're very excited to have him doing all of our, uh, uh, not all, but doing, doing much more back-end engineering. Uh, so let's get on to 9.2. Um, uh, we have some cool features coming in 9.2. We're going to be displaying uh, performance impact uh, on the merge request. Uh, Sort of, maybe. We're still very blocked on this uh, merge request widget redesign work. And uh, we're, we're, um, we've been actually blocked on this since 9.1. So we're really hoping that this, uh, this merge request widget redesign work can finally be merged, and then we can get on with uh, implementing our features. Uh, we also have some cool uh, uh, deploy history on performance charts. So we'll be pulling data from the uh, continuous integration environments and displaying those on, on the performance charts. Uh, we're also going to be adding a few uh, new things. Um, we have an experimental uh, uh, Ruby uh, unicorn exporter that will allow us to directly integrate Ruby metrics from the GitLab uh, server uh, components into Prometheus. Uh, this will eliminate the need for a lot of uh, 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 third-party uh, integration, like exporter stuff that you would normally need for a Ruby app um, and other crazy hacks that you would normally need for a Ruby app. Uh, we're, uh, this has been a great, uh, uh, a great improvement to the, 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 the default uh, Prometheus Ruby library. Uh, hopefully, once we get this stabilized, we're going to upstream our work and make that uh, part of the official uh, Prometheus Ruby library. Uh, we've also updated some of the, uh, the components with the normal uh, upstream release cycles. Uh, Prometheus 1.6.1 includes better memory usage. Uh, we've updated the GitLab monitor uh, to get all the latest features it has, and uh, keeping up to date with all the other uh, exporters, minor bug fixes, and small features. Uh, we've also done some improvements to the configuration uh, to make it easier uh, for users who are using things like external database uh, uh, configurations and other uh, related bugs uh, when, when using Prometheus in different ways. Uh, in 9.3, we have a whole bunch of new stuff that we want to get in. Um, we want to auto-detect uh, known metrics for common services like HTTP requests and other things like that. Uh, we want to support much a much broader range of metrics that instead of just the um, the default uh, CPU and memory allocation metrics. Uh, we want to improve the Ruby Unicorn library and get that more uh, more integrated uh, into the into the app and get some really good metrics out of the 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 main Rails code base. Uh, we're actually looking for other backend groups to help uh, instrument their pieces of the code so that we can have better metrics with uh, the Prometheus uh, Ruby library. Uh, and then we have some stretch goals, of course. Uh, we want to uh, try auto-deploying Prometheus onto Kubernetes so that we can have single-click integration with uh, uh, Kubernetes clusters in the uh, idea for, to production style workflow. Um, uh, we also want to try and uh, improve the, the network connectivity to various uh, components that we don't have to uh, lock it away and give you, uh, give more users access who may be worried about the security implications of all the metrics endpoints. Um, so here's an example of the uh, common metrics, uh, kind of a mock-up. Uh, and then we'll have the uh, install, uh, install button on, uh, on the integration page. Uh, we also have uh, some more work on the Prometheus in production. Uh, not a ton here, but we did. Uh, we now have Prometheus server meta monitoring. We've improved the configuration so that uh, the production GitLab.com Prometheus servers are monitoring each other, so that uh, individual Prometheus servers. Uh, so there are three Prometheus servers in the in the production environment, and they all cross monitor each other. Um, 
and, uh, so that we know that if the Prometheus servers themselves are having problems. Uh, we also have been improving some of the noise. We've done more improvements to alerts and, and have been trying to reduce some of the noise for the production team. And that's it. Thanks very much. Let's go to questions. Quiet, no questions. Um, ah. The Kubernetes auto deploy would be very useful when GitLab is not installed in Kubernetes. Um, I guess I don't understand the question. I think the answer is yes. The answer is yes? Uh, yes. Uh-oh. There's a tail attacking me. My, my question was because uh, our idea to production demo already deploys uh, Prometheus to Kubernetes. So I was wondering if this auto deploy feature was, uh, was solely useful in a case where GitLab was not deployed in that manner, uh, but your applications that you're deploying with GitLab are. Uh, yes, that, 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 will, uh, that will be part of it. Uh, plus the, the, what we're actually doing is, is there's a Prometheus server that is deployed uh, into Kubernetes to monitor uh, GitLab. Uh, and this will actually be deploying a Prometheus server into your, uh, into your application's Kubernetes environment. So there will be a separate Prometheus server just for monitoring that specific app. Uh, this is part of, the, part of the design goal of Prometheus is that making Prometheus really easy to deploy so that uh, every app can have its own Prometheus server to monitor it. Uh, instead of having to have uh, your typical um, your typical old school ops infrastructure where there's one giant monitoring server that rules them all, uh, uh, and uh, and with Prometheus you do, you don't need to do that. Uh, as far as uh, eat atomic memory, uh, no, not really. Um, uh, the the minimum footprint for a Prometheus server is about 100 megabytes, so it's not that terribly much. Uh, and it scales with the size of your application. So the bigger your application, the more memory your Prometheus server is going to need. Uh, and the thing that the part of the reason that we want to do this is, is when you deploy uh, uh, many smaller Prometheus servers, they scale better with each of the applications. Also, if you if you decide to take shut down an application, it's easy to, to uh, turn off that Prometheus server since that application is gone, and uh, it doesn't affect the load of any other Prometheus server. So it's kind of an isolation thing. Yeah, and Drew, just, just to round out your question, um, you're exactly right. So it, it's meant for uh, helping to have a single click integration when GitLab itself is that running in Kubernetes. So for example, GitLab.com, if you're pushing to Kubernetes, you can have a single button to then turn on and enable Prometheus. And we'll also have a secure network connectivity to and from Prometheus um, without you having to do anything. So it's uh, really couldn't be any easier. Um. Uh, Kim, does that answer your question about the memory usage? Cool. Yes. Um, uh, to follow up, to, is the graph a reflection of the, how the MR has changed memory usage, or just what the memory uh, usage of the, MR, uh, uh, of the MR when deployed? Um, it's supposed to actually show you bef a before and after picture of the memory usage before you deploy a uh, merge request and after you deploy the merge request. Um, oh yes, and uh, yeah, and as Joshua said on the chat, uh, we added tracking of uh, uh, of number of projects that Prometheus has enabled. In uh, this is added in nine point one. I don't know about preview apps. 
Joshua, do you know about that? Yeah, so, so review applications, uh, it will work. Essentially what happens is um, it takes the 30 minutes before and the 30 minutes after uh, of a deploy. And so if you have, for example, a, uh, a commit going into a review application, um, uh, you'll, you, or rather a merge request going into a, uh, say like a feature branch um, uh, that gets approved, um, that will then uh, trigger a new deploy and you'll then get the merge request commit um, three minutes before and three minutes after the deploy happened, if that helps to clarify. Okay. Uh, any other questions or anything I missed? Usage chart for dot com. I guess. Uh, oh yeah, that's a good question. Um, do we have? Actually, I don't think we have. I don't think we actually have the Prometheus stuff for dot com because we don't actually run any. Uh, we don't have any way to talk to the Prometheus server, various Prometheus servers yet. Uh, I don't think that's actually enabled on dot com. Kim? Oh, sort of. Okay. Maybe Kim, you can take this, uh, take that question offline. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, any other questions? Going once, going twice. See everybody in the team meeting.